United States Army now has its own electronic warfare tactical vehicle EWTV as per reports the 3rd armored brigade combat team Grey Wolf 1st Cavalry Division fielded the Army's new EWTV recently and is testing it the US Army's rapid equipping force is driving this program the rapid equipping force provides out-of-box solution to US Army's pressing requirements that are taking time to acquire through the traditional procurement process the EWTV is part of an effort to enhance the US Army's capabilities in the area of electronic warfare EW it's developed to meet the US Army's need to detect and jam enemy communications and network in this video defense updates analyzes electronic warfare tactical vehicle of the US Army let's get started Potential rivals of US especially Russia has been investing in land-based EW systems in Syria many such systems like Lear 3 Krishua are deployed There are many reports that some US drones were affected by these EW systems and their operation had to be cut short Jamming through EW can be done through many ways the basic includes blocking the target from receiving GPS signals and communication from the base US has been behind in terms of deploying land-based mobile EW systems and had no operational system until now US Army relies on Air Force and Navy which has many EW systems including dedicated EW warplane like the EA 18 G growler a land mobile EW system will provide much needed flexibility and operation freedom to the US Army this is where the US Army's new electronic warfare tactical vehicle comes in Lieutenant Colonel Scott Shoemaker chief of the rapid equipping force solutions team said in a release this effort will allow the ability for EW soldiers to influence future vehicle improvements and grow their knowledge this is an advanced EW technology that can provide the army new offensive and defensive capabilities the system basically has two parts platform and jammer the platform chosen is the Max Pro MRAP mine resistant ambush protected vehicle. It's designed by American company Navistar International's subsidiary Navistar Defense, along with the Israeli Plasan Sasa, who designed and manufactures the vehicle's armor. The vehicle was initially designed to compete in the U.S. military's mine resistant ambush protected vehicle program, led by the U.S. Marine Corps as well as in medium mine protected vehicle program led by US Army the jammer deployed is the crew Duke electronic warfare system developed by SRC as per the manufacturer the crew Duke system uses an advanced software defined architecture that supports rapid reconfiguration to adapt to the constantly evolving threat environment the system is easy to program and allows the operator to target the particular frequencies the system's compact size and low power consumption makes it ideal for mounting in vehicles viewers may note that the Duke system was selected as one of the US Army's top 10 greatest inventions in 2005 and 2009 SRC has stated that its engineers have continuously enhanced the system with many upgrades though in an initial stage it can be very well said that with the deployment of electronic warfare tactical vehicles US Army is taking steps in the right direction. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.